there. It is Darby at Call Math, and I have another fun math activity for you. I share these because the more you practice and do fun activities, the less math anxiety you will have. Um, playfully experimenting and being curious is a great way to strengthen your math mindset. Here is an area maze. And you only need to know one formula. Area equals length times width. So we have to try to figure out what this question mark is down in the bottom. Um, to solve this, I'm going to start at the top left corner. Um, if you want, you can pause the video, take a moment to screenshot this or sketch it out on a piece of scrap paper and follow along. So if I start at the first top corner up here, um, I can see that the area of this rectangle is 25. And remember that area equals length times width. So five goes into 25, how many times? Five times. So we know that this is gonna be five. Five times five is 25. So if we know that the up and down length is five, it's also going to be five over here on this rectangle. And five goes into 35 seven times. So seven is this length right here or width. I don't even know. <laughs> so the seven up here on top would also be the same down here on the bottom of this rectangle. And seven goes into 49 seven times. Seven times seven is 49. So are you starting to catch on on how to solve these? <laughs> so this seven for the height right there is the same as over here next to the 28. And seven goes into 28 four times. Seven times four is 28. So the four um, width right here is the same down by the 16. And four goes into 16 four times. Four times four is 16. And this four height right here is the same as the four height next to the 20. And how many times does four go into 20? That's right, five times. So that is our solution five inches. I hope you had fun with this area maze. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you think it would be helpful to other people, and stay tuned.